Shalita Nicole and I'm just being me. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Alright guys, let's get into it. So tonight, I wasn't going to do this. This was not in the books. This was not in the plans or anything. But uh, the past few days, I have definitely felt uh, overwhelmed. I felt like, okay, you know, sometimes it just happens to the best of us, you know, period. Like, it's like, okay, what's next, Lord? You know how sometimes you just have to have you a ugly cry. Sometimes things can definitely get overwhelming. Of course, if God lives on the inside of you and you're feeling away, you know, because it happens. God is always going to remind you of who he is. I don't want to say I was in my feelings, but low key, I probably was, you know, because sometimes it's like everything is good everything is great you know i feel amazing i feel wonderful you know this this and that can't nothing slap me down can't nothing knock me down but you know sometimes the strongest people they have their days they have their moments you know so i had me a moment briefly briefly i wanted to have a i wanted to have an adult tantrum where I wanted to lay in the floor, I wanted to kick my legs and my feet, and I just wanted to scream at the top of my lungs. And God won't have in that. I'm just being real with y'all. I'm being, you know, 100% honest with you guys, and I'm just putting it out there because in my silence, you just never know how your words can affect or bless or help another person okay so i wanted to have me a tantrum kick my legs my feet scream at the top of my lungs i wanted to do all of that i was just close to doing it okay but the thing about it is one of my confessions is god lives big on the inside of me well, god do live big on the inside of me and if he lives big on the inside of me, it's no space for a tantrum. It's no room for a tantrum. So, therefore, the Lord, he, he's standing there looking at us, laying down there, acting a fool, uh, making a plum fool of ourselves. And like, okay, you finish? You done? You finish or are you done? Okay, get up and let's get back. Let, let's get it popping. Let's get back to where we need to be. I had that moment today. <laughs> okay, so I said, you know what? I said, I am going to share this because, you know, a lot of us are in the waiting season and a lot of us are, you know, just in that moment where we are trusting, we're believing God, we're hoping God for different things, you know? So, tonight, 
I share my heart with you. This is going to be our weekly reset. You know how you journal. I definitely journal. So this is what I journaled. This was my thought pattern. This was me being in my feelings. And then God came in and he reminded me of what his words say. After you down there, you waddling, you doing what you doing, get up, dust yourself off, keep it moving. And that's that. So today, guys, I want to encourage you, just as I have been encouraged just a f five minutes ago. And I'm reading, I'm actually reading from my journal because guess what? It's, it's my thoughts, it's my heart, it's my feelings. So I don't remember everything off the top of my head. Just as it came, I wrote it down and here it is. It says that moment when you believe as if you are being as patient as you know how. Or when you believe you're trusting the best way that you can. Or how about that moment when you feel your heart just can't take no more. And you want to give up. Just last night, you fell to your knees. And you begin to scream with everything on the inside of you. Father, how much more? How much longer? Why me? Why this? Why that? What is this? Where, where, where are we going with this guy? Like, what, what? After all my extraness, the Lord just popped me in the mouth, <laughs> popped me on my hand. This is what I heard and what I received after I got out my flesh and my feelings. He said, be reminded that weeping may endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. That is Psalms 30 verse 5. And they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. That's Isaiah 40 verse 3. Oh, and don't forget not to become weary in well-doing, for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. God clearly says in his word, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's Isaiah 41.10. Last but not least, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. God gave me each and every one of these scriptures. And when I read these scriptures, I put my name in place. When you go through and you read these scriptures, I literally want you to put your name in there. That encouraged me. It encouraged me. And I said, I have to get on here and I have to share and I have to encourage somebody else. Because that moment when you do feel like, you know what? I ain't cut out for this. That's what the enemy wants you to think. But guess what? God has better plans. As his children, he's not going to let us waddle in our pity. He's not going to allow us to 
lay there and stay there. As believers, we're going to have to get up out of that funk that we're in. And so that didn't last long, okay? Because, you know, sometimes it's like, just let me cry. Just let me be here. Just let me do what I got to do. And then, you know, whatever. Nah. I, <laughs> I just thank God for growth. Because before, I will be there. I want to stay there. And that's just that. But that that didn't last long. Cry my little tears and he came to my rescue, okay? He came to my rescue. And I thank God for being who he is in my life. And yeah. I just wanted to hop on here. I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to encourage somebody as believers we have to remember who we are in him we have to remember that he laid down his life so that we can live he laid down his life so that we can have life and so that we can have it more abundantly he laid down his life so that we won't have to suffer so that we won't have to have a care in the world. But guess what, y'all? He didn't stop there. Because on that third day, he rose. <laughs> he rose. We serve a true and living God. You can't keep a blessed woman down. You can't keep a blessed man down. That is all that I am going to leave you guys with on tonight. Be encouraged. That's all I can say. Be encouraged. Remember who and whose you are. I'm going to say that again. Remember who you are and whose you are. Amen. All right, guys. You have an amazing night. A blessed week. God bless you. And until next time, bye.